Being Home is a community-inspired interactive artwork by Rupert Mattis. In 2009, Mattis visited the Emily Griffith Opportunity School and the African Community Center to solicit words about resettling in Denver from groups of newly immigrated refugees. In 2011, Mattis partnered with immigrants from Mexico who were taking literacy classes at Centro San Juan Diego. He also worked with students at the University of Denver. Mattis asked both groups about notions of home. The resulting words are in many languages, from English and Spanish to Arabic and Kareni. What I like about words that they touch a very special and important moment of human existence and education. So when you figure out that you get communication by words with other people, you learn to speak, you learn to write. It, I think it, it's a big touch of your feelings and your intelligence. And I like the way how words can be filled with emotion and meanings and values, and even how they can be emptied, so they're just without it. So it's just a word, and it, it is just a word. It maybe makes no rules, it makes no action, or so it's just a word, and you can pack everything in there you want to have there. Well, mostly I like to have a face-to-face -face situation with people. When I ask them, they write directly down what they have in their mind or how do they reflect the situation. I like the communication part of it, and I like the basic research within there. So I do a research right with the people, and they are going to be part of the project. And it's about some personal moments which touch other people in their personal moments. Four to five questions, two or three about really heavy, serious ones, like what did you leave behind, what do you miss, What? where do you want to go, which is even bigger as what you miss, and who you are, and I also like what surprise you, what English word comes up in your mind, or so, so questions which are easily to be answered. And they should give just real deep personal answers. I like to get in social system and it's like a way in making this soup out of it or so you get the essence, you get a recipe, you get a yeah, you get a real special thing out of it and I can uh, really choose meaning in these words of the communities, uh, real emotions, yeah, real truths and I can get these words out with equality and if I describe people about being human it's an exchanging, interesting, other ways of life, other experience. I'm interested in people, and that's why I like it. And it's a, it's, it's a research I'm doing, but it's a real-life research, not a research just working interviews and checking it out in the studio. It's real life with real people and getting their emotion in the process and getting this process transferred into the exhibition. I think the most important part of being home is that different communities pass the baton to the next one. So the creativity of writing and reflection from the refugees' communities get passed to volunteers of the museum working out their reflection of their communities. You see like Bronco design, you see Hawaiian design, lots of different fabrics which are reflecting their culture into the exhibition. We went to the Mexican community and suddenly they started singing in the workshop. So these are the moments which really touched me and touched my heart. What I like is the cultural reflection of the volunteers with their fabric, their facilities, their abilities. And they got a message from the refugees, the immigrants, with their foam words, so just like raw material, and they made something out of it. And it's important that they got raw material because they just feeling relaxed and being home. Then they created their own community, and it was, um, say, a modern way of quilting.